Hey everyone, welcome back to React course. In this lesson, we are going to understand what is Babel. We already learned modern JavaScript into JavaScript course and we know that JavaScript is an interpreted language. The browser interprets the code as text, so there is no need to compile the JavaScript code. However, not all browsers support ECMAScript 6 and 7 syntax and no browser support JavaScript XML syntax. Since we are going to use ECMAScript 6 and later, we need to convert this fancy source code into something that browser can interpret. This process is known as transpiling and it is what Babel is designed to do. Babel is a tool basically used to convert ECMAScript 6 syntax into ECMAScript 5. It is also grew to support transpiling JavaScript XML syntax into pure React. There are many ways to work with Babel. You can include Babel CDN in the HTML file using script tag or you can use node package manager to install Babel package in your application. Now we are using Babel tool to describe how Babel work. So we are going to open the Babel website and using the tool we will see how Babel convert ECMAScript 6 syntax into ECMAScript 5. So let's take an example and understand how Babel convert ES6 and letter syntax into ES5. So I will just go to the Babel website. So I will just type Babel here and just say enter. Click on the babel.js.io website and from this website I will just try this out from here. Right? Now here I will write some ECMAScript 6 code and declare a function with two arguments and return addition of that arguments, right? So I will just say here let add is equal to and here I will just specify arrow function. In the arrow function, we are specifying default arguments. So I will just say a is equal to 5, comma b is equal to 4. And just after that, specify my arrow here and in the body of this function, I will just say return a plus b, right? So I will just return addition of a and b. While you are typing this code, Babel tool will convert this code into ECMAScript 6 syntax. Now you can easily figure out what is the difference between ES6 and ES5. Babel tool will convert ES6 syntax into ES5, right? React use Babel for JavaScript and JSX. Now you know the basic of Babel. Now we are going to understand few disadvantages of React. Of course, every framework has its own drawbacks and React is one of them. Some of the differences like declarative versus imperative are highly subjective. So they can be both pros and cons. So I will just list out few disadvantages of React. So the first disadvantages of React is React isn't as mature as other frameworks. React core API is still changing. The best practices for React as well as the ecosystem of components, plugins and add-ons are still developing. The second disadvantage of React is React uses a somewhat new approach to web development and JSX and Flux often used with React as a data library and can be intimidating to beginners. There is a lack of best practices, good books, courses and resources available for mastering in React. The third disadvantage of React is React only has a one-way binding. Although one-way binding is better for complex apps and remove a lot of complexity, some developers who got used to a two-way binding will find themselves writing a bit more code. I will explain how React one-way binding work compared to the Angular two-way binding in future lectures. The fourth disadvantage of React is developer need to pair it with a library like Redux and React Router to achieve functionality comparable to Angular and Ember. This can also be an advantage if you need a minimalistic UI library to integrate with your existing stack. Fifth disadvantage is lots of developers dislike JSX React documentation. Manuals are difficult to newcomers understanding, right? So these are few disadvantages of React. Now let's see how React fit to your web application. 
React is a backend agnostic for the purpose of front-end development. In other words, you don't have to rely on Node.js backend or mean MongoDB Express, React.js and Node.js to use React. It's fine to use React with any other backend technology like Java, Ruby, Go or Python. After all, React is a UI library. You can integrate it with any backend and any frontend data library like Backbone, Angular and so on. React works nicely with other frontend technology but isn't mostly used as part of single page architecture because SPA seems to be most ad advantageous and popular approach to binding web apps. In the next lecture, we are going to understand what is single page application. A single page application is crucially used in modern web development. That is all for this lesson. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment. Answer the question specified in the comment will definitely help you to improve your knowledge regarding to this topic. That is all for now. We will see you in the next lecture.